Hey, what's up my construction entrepreneurs? Tyrone Jones here with the Construction Entrepreneur School and Services. Hey, so today I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. We're gonna visit a few job sites. I don't have a lot of time. I need to get back to the office because I got bids due on the 7th and the 8th. Uh, a pretty big one and a pretty lengthy one where that deals with multiple sites. Uh, and I, I think I'll talk about that maybe later on, or create another video on those upcoming bids. But today we're going to visit, uh, there's a job that I have that we're not quite on yet that they're calling for us to start the pour on the second deck. And that's for the uh, Mount St. Jacinto Math and Science Building in Menifee. Um, and I'm going to hit that one because they actually are starting to call for us to go out there and start grouting the templates and to possibly at the by the end of this month start working on pouring concrete on the second deck. And then after the second deck, it'll be concrete on the roof. So I'll go over there, do a quick video there. Then we'll stop at Del Sol. Remember, Del Sol was the problem job. So we'll stop at Del Sol. And then after Del Sol, we'll stop at Kathy Binks. Kathy Binks ran into some issues, and I'll kind of explain that um, once I start that video there. Um, and then after Kathy Binks, hopefully we have a hopefully we get a call for a check that we have to pick up um, in I think Buena Park or Anaheim. I know it's close by Knoxbury Farm. Um, and then we're gonna try to hit Newport Beach and try to come back here to the office and finish the day off with a late, pretty late, 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 late day bidding. Uh, Cause next week is the twins birthday and we're gonna be gone to Disneyland. So I'm gonna be MIA and focus on the family by then. So I need to get all this in this week and rolling into the weekend. So stay tuned. All right, what's up, my construction entrepreneurs? We got to the Mount St. Jacinto Math and Science Building. Oh, look, here's Jake. Jake, you want to be on this video? What's up? Nope, don't want to be on the video. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Uh, yeah, so this is the project here. Uh, Math and Science Building, pretty big here. We did all the concrete here. It was five different pads. It's kind of hard to see here. Uh, they also had to do the, uh, we had to do a vapor barrier system here, uh, uh, which required us to put the vapor barrier all the way on the outside of the, uh, the, the foundation and, uh, seal it in with a termination bar with some masking. Uh, yeah, so pretty big, pretty big, uh, pretty big, uh, 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 lot of concrete. They're, they're moving fast and putting this, uh, uh, the decking on. The, we got concrete on the second floor as well. There's uh, Jake again, the senior superintendent for Belfort Beatty. Uh, so we're putting concrete on the second deck, all in the classrooms and offices. And then there's an open area si similar to this walkway right here. There's an open walkway area inside the building that gets a structural slab and a topping slab on top. Uh, and then, you know, as we get out here, you guys will start to see that because uh, I'll be doing some videos then as well. These still guys are moving pretty fast here. Uh, we also, for this one here, every project calls for a mock-up, but we ever have to rarely do the mock-up. They actually, for this one here, a lot on these big ones, you actually have to do a mock-up. Most times on these smaller projects, that's the mock-up right there. So we had to do a, a similar mimic the foundation for this mock-up and everyone else had to build and, and add everything in there. Then uh, once they get that approved, they'll knock that down and then uh, and that'll be trash. They always say, hey, when you do your mock-up, if you can make it part of the building, then we'll uh, see if we can approve it. I never was able to do a mock-up that was ever actually a part of the building. Although, see, they got the decking on over here. They're putting the decking on over here, so. Yep. Putting the decking on over here, so. Looks like we're, 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 we're rocking and rolling here. 
and then we'll uh, brought my mother-in-law with me today. So that's this project. Uh, right now they want us to get out here and grout all, the, all these templates here. Wants to grout all these templates right here. You know, um, grout all these templates, man. It, I don't know how many templates is there is. It's probably a hundred of them. One of, the, one of the issues we had on this job is that the templates uh, were, the bolts were not coming through on the template. So they actually had to lower down the building and bring the, 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 the thread enough through the top of the template to tie in the bolts. And then they had to drill a few of them to expose the bolt to put this special type of nut on there. So there was an issue there, but the rest of them fit. We did a good job with layout and fitting these big, big, big bad boys in place here. So uh, next on this project, we got the deck, like I said, and then we also have the stairs. There's going lightweight concrete on the stairs. So we also have a contract to where we're putting, a lot of times you put plot, you put uh, uh, lumber, uh, uh, two by 12 with two by six inside the stair pans until the concrete is pouring so it's safe for people to travel up those stairs up and down those stairs uh as need be the stairs are not in place right now i don't know when they're going to get in place but we also have the portion of work for that we uh provide the lumber cut it put it in place and then we remove the lumber and then also pour the lightweight concrete on the stair pans uh this is the math and science building Sit. hey what's up my construction entrepreneur so still got mo law with me man Hey, I'm at Del Sol. We got a lot more dug out. The rain kind of drowned us out with quite a bit here. Um, but they got the deepened edges. They got some lines hung up. This is going to be a seat wall right here. Uh, these are the deepened edges here. This is all flat work here. These are expansion boards dug out here where we got to do deepen, it, deepen sections for expansion board that, that receives dials here. Okay. That receives dials. So, um, so that's good to go. That's, that's, that's. Contract on this job is AMG and Associates. Um, this is a flat work. This is pretty, this is cake, man. This is pretty easy, man. Uh, there's some track work on curbs that we need to do as well. Uh, this is the problem job. This is definitely the problem job here, guys. Where we screwed up the slab at the inside. And, um, probably couldn't see it anymore. But this is the inside of the building here. And it had a lot of, we grinded quite a bit, large areas, but looks like they probably overlaid a lot of it here and then now i found out they having problems with the roof the weight of the ac units that's sitting out there in the field i guess the roof can't support the weight right now so they have issues that's why all those units right there are sitting there because they can't install them because of the weight well that delays the project as well, so has nothing to do with me on that one. So we're out here trying to. I had another company come out here and get a get get to get started with this work and get it done here. So that's the deal. So this is Del Sol, pretty small one here. Uh, we'll be done with this one here in a couple of weeks here, uh, and then uh, that's it, man. Right? That's how it is. Here. It's pretty, pretty simple here. All right, my construction entrepreneurs, I'm gonna let you go with this one. We're headed to Kathy Binks. Now, Kathy Binks, I just got a 48 hour notice from Kathy Binks. Now, I tell you, the problems just never stop, but one thing is having the problem with too many jobs is a problem you want to have than not have enough jobs. 
having too many jobs, you can't man them all the time, and people are just pissed that you can't be out there. But you do what you can, figure out solutions, and you keep moving forward. But it's better than not having enough work. So that's my goal is to never not have enough work and have too much work. So headed to Kathy Binks next in Fontana. And that one's another small job, but we'll see how that one goes and how much I'm going to video on that one. Uh, that one's definitely inside the school. This one's here is inside the school as well, but we separate it from the kids on the other side. So we'll see. See you soon. Okay, my construction entrepreneurs. So gave you guys a few jobs there. Uh, I did not do a video at uh, Kathy Binks Elementary School location. Uh, but I will. And I did not do a video at the uh, Newport Beach location. Do apologize for that. Uh, totally forgot. With the Kathy Binks location, the reason why I forgot is because they sent me a 48 hour notice because they're trying to get me to get my crew out there. They had some delays out there the other week because there were changes that the architect and the structural engineer need to make. So we were there with the uh, mini X over Xing and digging and they found out that things was not lining up. So we had to pull off and I pulled off and I sent the crew to another job, which is the zoo, the San Diego zoo job and some of the guys at uh, Del Sol and then sent some guys to uh, Newport Beach. And now I'm sending guys to another job. Uh, I got a sheriff shooting range that we're trying to finish up. That's in um, uh, Orange County. I think that's Anaheim. Um, and so I, they want me to send guys back over there now. Well, they sent me a 48-hour notice because I haven't sent guys over there and their job is at a standstill. But, you know, this type of stuff happens all the time. You run into a delay on one job and then you scramble to find work for guys that was on that job that now has a delay you send them to the next job they're working at that job now the job that had the delay that pulled the crew off wants you back and they're acting like you got a crew just sitting at home waiting to start that job but the job that the guys are on now the project manager and the owner do not want them to leave to go off their job to another job so you know, you, you, it's like I said in my video at uh, Del Sol Project, it's better to have too much work than not enough work. So I'm grateful for that. It's just another thing that you have to deal with when you do have too much work on the books and everyone is pulling at your coattail and wants you on the job site. So right now, I will have a small crew there. Uh, um uh, my partner will be there on Monday, so he's going to work that job with a few other guys. And then Tuesday, I'm going to free everyone up, and I'm I'm going to have like five guys there Tuesday, and we're just going to blow out this work Tuesday to where they're not going to have any more work for us, and we're just going to eat it up. And then we're going to pull off again, and uh, and then you know then we'll be at another job, and that that cycle will start all over. Well, as you know, that that job, that mapped and science building, the other big job I got, they're looking for us to get out there and start grouting those templates. And once they get us on there, they're just going to roll us over to the next portion of work, which is pouring the concrete on the second deck. And then after that, pouring the concrete probably on the stairs or even the roof, you know. So, um, yeah. And then the yeah it's just going to start rolling and rolling and rolling so i tried to show you guys a few jobs there i'm always willing to talk to you guys about what's going on what issues i'm dealing with um um and then what great things are going on hopefully i'll share a lot of great things that are going on as well uh but it's always issues there's always great things there's always celebration but, you know, I try to share a lot of these issues that happen because that's where the growth happens. You know, it's knowing how to deal with those issues by seeing what issues that I go through. And you already can either stop those issues from happening uh, because I'm already going through them or you can prevent those issues. Well, yeah, prevent is stopping them or you can deal with them better than I'm dealing with them when they happen. Okay. Um, I'm going to start getting into some more videos talking about billing 
and, um, you know, getting into public works and uh, what to expect, uh, you know, pros and cons. Uh, why, why, I, why am I in this public works type market? Uh, it's very expensive, but you can make a lot more money than dealing with the commercial or the definitely the, the residential side, you know. So uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I appreciate all the comments. Make sure you guys like the video, uh, share the video, uh, leave comments on things that you want me to cover, and I'll do my best to, to add them to my list to make sure that I can cover those things. And appreciate you guys listening and watching. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm back. Uh, took off for a while, you know, to focus on building my business, and um, and I'm back. And um, and then you know, hopefully we can uh, continue to stay. And uh, I need to get my website back up. I'll be getting my website back up. Um, and uh, that's it. You know, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Till then, hustle hard. Then hustle harder. Catch you on the next one with my construction entrepreneurs.